Hedgehugs by Steve Wilson and Lucy Trapper. Horace and Hattie are the very best of friends. There are so many things they like to do together. They like to search for four-leaf clovers in the meadow. They like to make daisy chains in the shade of the old oak tree. They like to splash in the puddles on the lawn. And sometimes they like to have a tea party by the river. When Horace is busy, Hattie puts on her tutu and dances in the bluebells. When Hattie is busy, Horace searches for spiders in the woods. Horace and Hattie are the very best of friends, but there is one thing they cannot do together. They cannot hug. They are just too spiky. In the spring, they found some old hollow logs. Horace and Hattie squeezed inside, but the hug was too bumpy. In the summer, they stuck strawberries on their spikes, but the hug was too sticky. In the autumn, they covered their quills in crunchy, crispy leaves, but the hug was too scratchy. Poor Horace and Hattie. Then, one day, they found something very interesting. It was soft. Was it a hat? Horace decided to investigate. He wriggled and jiggled and nibbled. Then, out he popped. Hattie thought Horace looked very funny. Then, she had an idea. Hattie looked at Horace, and Horace looked at Hattie. They moved closer and closer until they hugged. The hug was just right. Not cold, not scratchy, not sticky, and not bumpy. It was warm and soft and cuddly and comfy. The perfect hedge hug. So the next time you see someone wearing mismatched socks, or if one of your socks goes missing, you know what it means. A hedge hug has happened. The end. Great. Now we're going to draw a hedgehog in the style of Hattie and Horace here. And what I need you to do is to grab a paper and something to draw with. Now we're going to draw our hedgehog, trying to find a solution to having spikes all over its body, right? So Hattie and Horace tried a whole bunch of things and I want you to come up with a new solution to cover up their spikes. Now to make our hedgehog, I'm gonna start with a straight line. And then I'm going to curve it down and back. Now we want to make it in this style, so I'm going to give the little nose sticking out here. It's like the letter D, almost looks like the letter P there. You can color it in. I'm going to curve the back of the head down. And I'm going to curve that down too. And I'm going to connect them. I'm going to make the eye just in the middle here. And tall oval. And you color in most of that oval. I'll leave a little white space at the top. They don't have mouths. Um, if you're making yours a girl hedgehog, you can go ahead and add some eyelashes. And you can go ahead and add a flower here in the hair, if you want to, or a bow. And next we're going to add some spikes. So just above the eye, we're going to draw a little curve. And it's going to follow along behind the head. And you just draw some straight lines. both sides. Now, whatever it is that your hedgehog is going to be stuck in, you're going to draw that now. Um, Hattie and Horace tried strawberries, and they tried leaves, and they tried a hollow log, 
right? But maybe you want to come up with something different, something funny. Um, marshmallows or a pumpkin or an apple or some fruit or vegetable like that. Um, or I'm not really sure. It's, it's up to you. This is, this is where you can use your imagination. Um, I'm going to draw Hattie inside of a pumpkin. So she found a little jack-o'-lantern and she thought that that would be fun. Now, you can come up with your own thing now, but I'm going to draw the pumpkin. So I'm going to make mine round with a couple of lines like that on it. Um, no matter what you're drawing, you're probably going to need to draw their feet sticking out, right? So two straight lines and then just an oval foot and their hands sticking out. It's going to be pretty similar. So just two lines with a circle at the end. So I'll have her arms sticking out like she's going to hug somebody. And I'll make mine look a little bit more like a pumpkin here. think that's good enough for mine. If you finish early, you can make another hedgehog looking at your hedgehog and trying to hug it. Maybe Hattie's trying to use a pumpkin and Horace is trying to use a marshmallow, right? Um, and this will look more like a pumpkin once I get some orange on there. So remember that you don't need to follow all of my steps, that you're going to follow the head and then the feet and the hands for sure, but the body, whatever that hedgehog is wearing is going to be different. Can't wait to see these. Bye. And there you have it. See you next time.